What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy. I'm glad you spared time. This is Super Mama Amy. This is the mama. <laughs> I'm glad you spared time. Welcome. This special episode, like you all know by now, all episodes in this channel are special. This special episode, as you can see, it's being shot at night. <laughs> because vitu ni mingi masani machache. But more importantly, I'll be talking about things that change with arrival of baby. Yeah, today was Jamhuri Day. And for was singing, You know that song? You know it? Do you know the words, the stanzas? Maybe, or you just wait for the chorus. You are the type that waits for the chorus. Yes. Things will happen to you, to your relationship, to your life. Things will change when baby comes. I just want to give you a highlight of some of those things that you expect to change. Or some might remain the same. I would want to know what you think about it. Uh, I would like to hear. Please share with me your com in the comment sections. Please endeavor to share with me in the comment section what you think about these things. But um, yeah, basically just to put you, to prepare you if you're thinking about having a baby, life might change in these areas, okay? So number one thing that changes, number one thing that changes is your relationship with your partner. <laughs> yes, if you're married, your relationship with your husband or your relationship with the obviously the father of your child or the the lady the woman <laughs> who is bearing your child the relationship with that person is most likely to change in this manner because mama has um pregnancy comes along with emotions with different hormones so many progesterone estrogen oxytocin oxytocin Oxytocin? Is oxy oxytocin involved? Medics, please tell us again in the comment section, is oxytocin involved? Those emotions definitely affect issues, things like uh, body parts like the breasts, body parts like the vulva, the vajayjay, like you now know. In, in, uh, in, <laughs> Yes, so the the breasts to start with, because because of hormonal changes, they'll be so tender, and you might not want any touching on the breasts as a woman. So super dads, be informed. In case you realize that your woman does not want some touching during this time around the breast, do not be shocked. Please, Super Mama Amy is preparing you to know that not to be shocked. You understand. It's not like Mama has changed. Things have changed. Baby is here. Definitely, one, two are going to change. The other day, there's a video I've done on the deed. Wait, oh, wait for that video. But subscribe to this channel so that when it comes up, you'll be the first one to know. But in, in a... In a in that video, I was struggling to find the word to describe S-E-X. Then I just realized recently that I'm a member of a marriage care group and we call it dental procedure. <laughs> dental procedures. <laughs> so next time you hear me use the word dental procedure, please put it in your mind. I'm talking about the deed. The deed. <laughs> The deed will definitely change when baby comes. Your visits to the dental pro to the dentists, yes, dental procedure itself will change. Positions of dental procedure will change. <laughs> yes, expect such things, and probably the number of visits to the dentist will reduce. Okay, okay, so that is one area in your life 
in which you expect to change with the arrival of baby. Are we together? Why, why do I keep asking if we are together anyway? <laughs> yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So your, your relationship with your partner will change because definitely hormonal changes in mama's body have caused changes and have affected dental visits, yeah? Dental visits. Keep in mind, when I say dental visits, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Okay, I know you get it. I know you get it, do you? you? <laughs> I used to have a nanny. One of the nannies I had, I told her my to try, to try. I don't mind my child being spoken to in any language because they are a child. They will understand all the languages you want them to learn. But they don't be afraid. If you have a nanny and is talking, provided it's not with a heavy accent, is talking to your child in, in mother tongue, using Swahili, and you want your child to learn English, don't be scared. Babies have the capacity to accommodate Spanish, French, English, Swahili, and any other local language. You've heard of these princesses and prince, princes and princesses of royal families. They learn up to 14 foreign languages at the age of four. Princess Charlotte. Hey, you should know your people. <laughs> you should know things. One of the things I've said about Supermama, Supermama should be knowledgeable. At the age of four, she's probably older today. Princess Charlotte knew seven international languages. So don't stress. Child, baby, will learn all the languages they can. But I was going to say, one of the nannies I had when I used to have nannies, would, would talk to my son and refer to him as you, you. <laughs> you, you, in the spirit of teaching my boy English. <laughs> you, you, tell me your experience. Have you had something like you, you, yani kiswahili, wewe, wewe. Hey, wewe. Well, we yani you you. So if you hear me confused and once in a while I say you you, you, you bear with me. <sighs> okay, you bear with me. But I was saying, um, because of hormonal changes, definitely Mama would not want you to touch around. This is one thing, by the way. If you go, th if you get married in church, and you go through premarital counseling, one of the things you'll be told. You'll be advised not to get honeymoon babies, if you know what I'm talking about. Because probably you are, of course, if it's assumed you are abstaining. <laughs> yes. So there is this drive and craziness, the aura and euphoria around when we get married. We will do. We will do. I have my water here and today I'm using a tumbler to drink the water so let me just drink the water okay one of the things you are told is you are discouraged from is honeymoon babies because because if you get honeymoon baby you will not enjoy like you had intended to because of hormonal changes mama will be unavailable like to to satiate the drive in you super dad anyway that on the side expect your marriage to be affected because definitely mama's mind has switched. Everything she's studying about is week one of baby's life. Week two, how big is the baby? All she's thinking at this time is baby. And I have told you, don't stress. Super Mama Amy has content for that. Please watch Nutrition Must Do's if you're expectant this time. Or if you're planning to be, please watch Nutrition Must Do's. Are we together? Yes, teach. <laughs> yeah, so one, you expect your marriage to be affected. Visit to dental procedures will, will reduce, will be affected definitely. Yeah? Will be affected because people are, are involved in baby affairs. Number two, you expect a change in your body, definitely. If you had the waist like this, you expect it to change. With baby coming, you expect it to change. Although after baby has come, 
you could do a few things to help your waist go back go back some people give up on the way i am determined to look for my body the one i had before i started having children but it has changed you think i had fat here and here <laughs> no 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 so some people get even affected with their walking style after delivery delivery causes a lot of pain to a woman by the way some people to the extent that their walking style is affected later so next time you see a mama walking come see come sir show some respect all right show some respect nonetheless you must keep in mind that baby will change a few things in your physical appearance will even change your nails if you have been very keen my nails have been this short in all these videos because i have a two months old baby in my house let me tell you a story hey 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 guys when i went to deliver my first child let me just tell you when when i had my wedding hey my nails were that long there I tried this thing they call stickons or is it what what is this they put on your nails and it looks like it's a continuation of the nails is it stickons it's not um it's not this fake nails they attach you can see there's a nail here this one was stuck and you'd think it's a continuation of the nail it was not stuck from the root here like you would think it was a continuation of the nail i don't know tell me the slay queen slayers tell me in the comment section what you call that and the one that you 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 scoop you scoop gel from from uh, body oil like this <laughs> you can't do this if you are going to pick oil with that one and when you get when you when you forget that you have those ones on and you hurt yourself accidentally it hurts up to here <laughs> yes i had those nails all done properly people are even wondering whether i would sign my certificate because they were nailed they were very long my friend i signed like this <laughs> the way <laughs> i signed anyway so when it came to time to deliver i went to hospital and of course i delivered i had done my nails not very long now not the wedding type not very long I've done my nails because super mama by the way if you're planning to go deliver if your intention is to you you know your delivery due date has arrived if there's one thing you need to do with yourself with regards to pedicure and manicure you need to because once baby come don't cheat yourself you'll easily get time to step out of the house the child kind of separates you from the world outside so i was there in hospital i just had my baby like you know by now i must have shared in one of these videos we got admitted in the first time in the first um in the first 24 within 24 hours of life my baby was sick so we got admitted then hey yay, i am in hospital new mama of course i am confused i'm crying i'm sniffing i'm wondering why me why me <laughs> Uh, i hope you watch my video of the things that shocked me one of the things that shocked me was why me just just whenever you see that video please subscribe so that when that video comes up you will watch it first okay um and so i'm there this nurse comes and looks at me and one of the things she told me mommy <laughs> I'm like, Ma Mami, <laughs> Mami, <laughs> ah, is it me? Mwa, Mami, me, me? Did I hear myself right? <laughs> and that's another thing that changes. Now I'll describe it in its own point. But she meant i have had a baby and they cannot keep long nails that is what she meant 
sad to cut and i was wondering why would i cut my nails i later on came to understand <laughs> but i didn't cut them i was no nah, i just did these nails and it cost me five dollars <laughs> Oh my god, tell me how much it costs to do gel, gel on your fingers, on your nails, in whatever town you are in, whichever country, please tell me. It co- it had cost me five, 500 shillings, 500 Kenyan shillings, which is around $5, dollars or 4.8, I don't know, with Ukraine and stuff, I don't know how much it costs nowadays, how much a dollar is nowadays. So. I had I didn't cut them. Then I went home and scratched my son painfully like when Pachani Swambie one thing that will surely change new mama is your nails you will cut. If the sister nurse does not tell you to cut, you will cut. Don't worry, you will cut your nails. <laughs> you will cut your nails. If you want to do your nails, keep them short. And paint them while they are short. But anyway, I was still explaining how the physical body changes to the detail, including the nails. In fact, some people after delivery they has they start having issues with their teeth. Teeth even teeth teeth could even fall down. You start dropping teeth here and there. Imagine physical body changes. So don't worry about laying here and there baby will make you change cut your nails another thing that changes is your name definitely after baby comes you will you will hey yeah. i've told you nurse called me mommy utakata makucha and i was who is mommy by the way <laughs> because no 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 Let's make things clear. My name is Amy. Ah, you be called Mama, your child. I remember when we came back home and then we, we stayed for some time where we were staying, then we had to move. Then this new place, people are asking, you say the name. Before you know it, children are already knocking at your door. Mama Flani. <laughs> you are like, it sounds weird. It sounds weird. Yes, yeah, so your name will change and some people find it very nice it's actually not bad for your name to change you will get used to it they soon like you drop your beautiful name everywhere you go to church people are calling you mama flani you go for a meeting here mama flani you even go to the so to the market sorry to the market mama flani mama flani baba flani baba flani you get surprised you get surprised for a few moments that you you get used to it. So your name changes after delivery, after baby comes. Another thing that changes is um your dieting. Whatever you eat, right from when you conceive, right from when you conceive to delivery, to post-delivery, to very many... It could take you two years of dieting, watching what you eat, actually. By the way, it's basically two years. Because nine months and uh, one year of baby's life, or if you're breastfeeding for two years, that's almost two and a half years of your life of observing what you eat. Chances are that after that period, you will continue eating what you used to eat. Like your dieting for life would have changed. Just like that. Watch my video on nutrition must do's while pregnant to know what you should be eating while expectant. And of course, I have done videos on foods that boost breast milk production. Those, those kind. Please watch them to know what you should be eating pre and after delivery. Okay? But definitely, you, you if you are the type that liked heavy cocoa, conch, concentrated cocoa, sorry, coffee that changes carbonated drinks that changes if you're the like the type that like likes a lot of say scuba wiki if you like kels in lots of it 
in large amounts, please tell us in the comment section. That that changes because again you have to watch your foods so that baby does not have colic. So again, your dieting, the food you eat change and this could affect the rest of your life. Imagine. Whew. Yes. Another thing that changes is um your freedom. Your freedom to move around. Your freedom to have privacy. Your freedom to do so many things changes. If you are there thinking that when baby comes, you will have it easier. You are already tired with pregnancy. You are saying, ah, if you are here too, I want to go to the house. Oh, when baby comes, everything becomes, I want to leave. What will I do with the baby? I want to go buy tomatoes. What will I do with the baby? You are even thinking of a nanny or you are thinking of, I want to buy tomatoes, but I can't take baby out. So you sit in the house and wait. Hope that someone passes and asks, I am going to the market. Do you want something? And I've said friends, family, neighbors, if someone delivers and you're staying with them, watch, watch my video on how to love and care for a new mother. So you know these things. There could be someone in your area compound, the same plot, the same estate, she just delivered she's in a fix she wants tomatoes for example and she can't go out and you just you just went to buy the same tomatoes just ask i'm going to buy tomatoes might you need some it will not break your neck will it i know i know this house as we close our doors just knock on the door so if someone says no it's okay has it reduced you no all right so your privacy, your movement, you desire to. Now, your mode of transport, you even have to consider what about the children, things like that. Another thing that changes is, um, I just call it shopping list. When baby comes, if you, if you are the type that we just wake up and decide, we're going to do sausage, we're going to do ABCD, well, hey, when baby comes, you think about baby friendly things baby friendly things you think about has, does baby have diaper does baby have before you think about let's buy your go yogo chances are that would happen but i know there's some people who that doesn't affect them but chances are before you buy something you'll be thinking whether baby is comfortable because again you don't want to disappoint your baby do you do you want to disappoint your baby do you yeah so your shopping list changes um another thing that changes is um tell me tell me what changed for you eh, in our house here specifically <laughs> litter <laughs> litter the quantity of litter we have since baby came has increased do you know why that is do you know why it's like that because definitely people are using more diaper diapers every day like now i have two babies like you know one is one year eight months of course at night he still we still put him in diapers at night during the day he can have it free but at night he sleeps in diapers in the morning when i'm going to dispose these diapers i have like four for the little baby two for the adults oh, for the older baby so six, imagine six, an average of four every night. Because sometimes it could be three on this side and one on this side. So an average of four. Of four. So every night, four, 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 30 days. Definitely litter has changed. Yeah, the quantity of litter, I wish I could show you. I even recorded litter that we had. We, we, we disposed our litter. Garbage collector come to collect on Friday. It was Sunday morning and the litter bag, the garbage bag, was already like three quarter going to fill. And I'm like, hey, we just have one. Will we reach Friday? Yes, the quantity of litter changes. It could change for you as well. So you just make arrangement for such kind of things. Now to be more personal, maybe to just personalize this, that some of the things that have changed for us, as for me, is a, I've already shared with you, litter, garbage in this house, quantity has increased. You could expect to, 
So you make better plans. If you didn't have a garbage collector, you might want to consider having one because where will you take all those diapers? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, personally, what has changed for us is uh, me as an individual, my attitude towards life. I've become more confident. I've become more hardworking. I think it just pushes you. Because utaka nyumba ni mkule nini na watoto. Yeah? It, it just pushes you. I've become more hardworking. More confident. Yeah? More real with life. No? More real. Like, um, yeah, I'm also afraid of danger. Because I don't want to put my life in danger and then something happens to me. And then what will happen to my kids? Yeah, so things like that, it could happen to you. Tell me, tell me, did you feel more confident just after delivery? Or your attitude towards life was top, like you had so much confidence. You felt like you'd, you could conquer the world. Or a desire to just push yourself more towards the life, this life of hustling share with me in the comment section i would want to know i've said yeah ladies never comment they are just watching silently men at least encourage me with one word or two please tell me in regard to maybe attitude towards life or something what changed for you when baby came something which you know this one changed when baby came some people say hey my wife changed oh my girl changed hey, my husband my boyfriend changed when baby came she became miserable she became happy she became the da, 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 tell us in the comment section we want to know let's make this fun okay um again for me another thing that changed specifically the cup from which i drink my tea <laughs> changed i used to have this normal 300 ml i got a tumbler a big one and this one a friend of mine came to visit me in hospital while we were admitted with the first child and brought me tea and brought a, a cup with it. A beautiful porcelain cup. Beautiful, heavy, colorful. That one. I returned the thermos and was left with the cup. It is still my cup up to today. Everybody in the house knows this is my cup. And that specifically changed just after the liver. Because a small cup like this is not enough. I wanted to have tea and have it once and, and be satisfied with the tea. So, or of course, you're not taking tea, you're taking cocoa. I hope you've watched my video on foods to eat that boost milk production. And so my cup, specifically the cup from which I drink my tea, my, my, my anything, my drink, <laughs> my drink. <laughs> Yes, my drink changed. And also, after baby comes, you could consider maybe changing your residence because say, for example, you are in a bed sitter and you get babies and God has blessed you, you can change residence, for example, go to a maybe one bedroom or two bedrooms so that you have more space. Specifically for us, we wanted to change our residence so we have a space for baby to crawl. You could say, ah, baby has reached the edge of crawling we want them to crawl and maybe it's affordable or the pricing is the same but the sizes are different these are some of the things that change so that's it for me a few things that change some of the things that change and i'm sure i will some of them definitely will change for you so expect these things please share with me what changed for you yeah yeah share with me what changed for you with the arrival of baby did you did you maybe become richer for example did you lose everything you have did you become confused and you have never done some people even their health changes their health changes something went wrong somewhere and it affected them for life such kind of mamas i we, we just pray with you hold on there hold on there you are a super mama i mean you have managed this far you are a super mama some some people even uh, buy, say, for example, property after baby comes. It's just an amazing thing. Baby changes things, definitely. Baby changes things. Baby could separate you. Some people change hair. I used to wonder, when I grew, growing up, I would see grandparents have different beds. 
kitanda ya babu kitanda ya nyanya <laughs> maybe baby changes some people move from bed maybe baby has come and dad just wants to allow mama have peace with the child so dad moves away from bed and that's it <laughs> daddy never comes back <laughs> tell me if such things are happening to you yeah some people um what else happens to some people yeah this is the time you get a nanny probably so the two people you used to uh, to be in the house is no longer there so people are in the house or you get a cousin here a, a relative here to stay with you tell me share with me in the comment section so that is it for for this time i hope you expect this i just shared so that you expect that things will change so that when they change you're not surprised at least super mama amy warned you so you prepare okay so that's it let's meet in the next video bye